and I've worked out what the issue was. Okay, welcome along to the channel. Today what we're going to be talking about is air compressors. So if you saw my previous video, I got away for three days exploring Bribe Island. I finished the trip, got back and decided to start airing up and unfortunately my trusty thumper stopped. So initially I thought it might have been just overheating, however I mucked around with it for a while, got home, it still wouldn't work, so I thought it was, it was, it was burnt out, it was fried. So I jumped online and what I've done is I've purchased the, just the Adventure Kings Mark II. So I've had this one, the old original, for about 8-9 years and then I've jumped on and grabbed the Mark II. However, while I was pulling out the old one, I thought I'd just hook it back up and give it another go and it bloody works. So what I've, what's happened is now I've ended up with two compressors. Uh, I'm not super confident in this one. I, yeah, it smelled pretty fried, but it's working at the moment. So what we're going to do in this video is just mount this one back in to where the original was. And then I thought maybe just for a bit of a comparison, I'll do just a, a tyre. Um, deflate one, inflate one with both compressors and just time it. Just, just for those that are interested in the comparison. So this is a 160 litre per minute uh, compressor. While the Thumper Mark II is a 300 litre a minute kind of compressor. So technically it should be double as quick, but we'll do a, quick, a bit of a comparison and see how we go. So what we'll do, get this mounted in, and then we'll have a bit of a play around and pump up some tyres. For those that are interested, I purchased this for $174 delivered just online. So I got the compressor, got the 4 meter hose with just the standard um, you know, valve. Then it's also included there, I don't know, just one of these which I kind of prefer at times. I found my previous one of these was a little bit, I don't know, it didn't work that well. So. We'll see how this one goes, but yeah, 174 bucks delivered. What I'll need to do first is just cut off the alligator clips. So we'll get those cut off, throw in an Anderson plug, and then I can start mounting it. Oh yeah, well that's annoying. Oh, I just broke my lens. <laughs> uh, yeah, broke the bloody lens. Oh, bugger. Just trying to get the thumbnail photo for the video. And lost concentration and it fell off the tripod. I've got this 50mm lens that I've got on this camera now, so... The show will go on. Okay. With this test, what I'm going to do is deflate the tyre to 15 psi and then pump it back up to 40. Okay, it's down to 15 psi. Uh, just so everyone's aware, that's a 32 inch tyre, so uh, nothing too big, but we'll see how we go. Okay, first of all, we're going to give the thumper original a go. Start the ute up. Set my timer, and let's see how long it takes to get to 40 psi. Alright, okay, let's go. That is kaput. <laughs> Next morning. Okay, I'm back and I've worked out what the issue was. Faulty earth. So, instead of getting my multimeter out, checking my connection, I've ended up buying a second compressor when this one is fine. It is, um, 
yeah, there's my faulty earth to my connection for my Anderson plug. So, a bit of a learning curve there, a bit of a learning point, so always check your connections. The compressor was hot, the smelt burnt out, and the way I reacted, I thought it just, it, yeah, it buggered out. But, it's working, so, I'll do what I originally planned, I'll drop this tyre down to 15 psi, and then we'll do a comparison to inflate it, back up to 40 psi between the Thumper original and the new Thumper Max. So, I now have two compressors. Okay, so that took 2 minutes 42 to go from 15 psi to 40 psi, so pretty quick really. I'd like to see the 32 inch tyre. Now we'll set up the Thumper Max and see how long it takes. Okay, so the Thumper Max is set up. We'll reset the timer. Had a little bit of issue just like 40 psi between the two but relatively half the time um, 1 minute 34 I probably should have actually tested each tire uh, with another gauge but it's definitely on 40 psi I reckon the other one with the thumper original I might have slightly been under 40 psi I didn't keep resetting it so no real surprise the thumper max pumped up or inflated this tyre about double the speed of my Thump original 300 litres a minute opposed to 150 or 160 litres a minute so no surprise but it, um, this thing sure does crank which is cool so but yeah like I said two working compressors probably give a one, my old one away to my mate um, I'm sure he'll, he'll utilise it and now what I'm going to do is just hard mount this mix into my little under tray um, storage container so we'll get that mounted in, tucked away, and they'll be ready for the next trip. Okay, well that wraps up another video. Not the most successful. Bought a compressor when I didn't need it. Broke the lens on my camera. But, I suppose one good thing, I've got the new one mounted, it's working, and it's already for my next trip. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Like I say, if you do, hit that like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Catch you later.